Cowboy, Trigger, his golden Palomino, and Day Levin, Queen of the West, with Pat Brady, their comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. Well, riders, Trigger here is raring to go, so let's get started with today's story. Hobo's got him and he's on his way in. You ready to make things look convincing? Go ahead, boys. It's got to be done. Wait. What do they show up now for? I don't know. I didn't expect him this soon. Come on, finish me off. We still got time. Come on, Nick. It's time for us to get out of here. Let's take a bullet. Get these two down to the sheriff's office. No, Roy. Wait. I don't want to press charges. Why not? On account of Ed. His condition isn't too good. And I can't allow anything to excite him. I'll explain later. Well, maybe you're right. You two get on your horses and keep going until you get clear out of this territory. Don, would you mind telling me what this is all about? No, but, but I'd like to get cleaned up before Ed finds out there's been some trouble. Roy! Roy! What's the trouble? Something's happened to Ed. Read that. Oh, oh I don't feel so good. Well, maybe you're hurt worse than you think you are. Read that. We've got Ed Bailey. If you want him back, it will cost $5,000. We'll tell you where to deliver it in 24 hours. Well, we can't wait any 24 hours. Ed can't live that long without insulin. Well, Don, you better stay here. We'll get on his trail. No. That was my boss. Oh. Don, you're in no condition to ride. You must stay here. I'll send Bullet after Pat. He can come back and look after you. I'll write the note. Take the input. Well, let me help you up on the porch. I wonder who would want to kidnap Ed sick as he was. I don't know, but I'm sure going to find out. Bullet! Come on, Bullet. Ah. Take this to Pat, boy. Go ahead. Take it to Pat. Take it to Pat, boy. Pat will be along pretty soon. Step close, Bishop. Wait a minute. What is this? Roy Rogers rode in while we were beating up Wallace. He may be suspicious and be on our trail. Drive ahead, we'll talk on the way. It's not safe to hide in here. I want you to drag him on up to Greenhorn's barn. Why me? Why not Hobo? Hobo's riding on in the middle of the city and getting himself arrested. Arrested? Yeah. I want him in jail overnight. 
That may give him an alibi in case somebody was on his trail just now. Did something happen? Did he run into trouble? Don't ask so many questions. Just hurry it up. We can't afford delays. I want to get the mineral steady within 15 or 20 minutes. Easy, it's only a couple of miles. Yeah, well, take care of the horses, will you? Do I untangle them? No. I want everything to look ordinary and peaceful. But the horses ought to be ready just in case things start stacking up on us. Somebody else. My legs are sensitive. <laughs> oh. This is probably another one of them drippy love notes from one of my many admirers. You know, Bullet, you gotta quit hanging around these girls. These love notes give you the goosebumps. <laughs> hey, this is from Roy and Dale. Kidnappers got Ed Bailey and hurt Don Wallace. We're on the trail. Will you come out and look? Kidnappers! Hurt Don Wallace. We're on the trail. Will you come out and look? C come on, bullet. I'm in the mood for a ride, and I'm aiming to have one. Well, it sure is a nice day for it. <laughs> sure is. I'm going with you in this air-conditioned junkie. Now, just a cut and pick a minute. You can't talk that way about Nellie Bell. And besides that, you ain't going with me because I've got business to do. Listen, Squinty. I said I'm having a ride. Oh, boy, Bullet. Teach him some manners. Okay, Bullet. That's enough. You heard what the man said. Come on. I know when I'm licked. I won't give you no more trouble. Well, if I had more time, I'd take you to the sheriff and have you arrested for molesting a peaceful citizen. What's the matter? You afraid to take me in? Even with that dog, you afraid to take me in? Pictures are here. Look out there. Hey, Roy, those two riders turned off here, and it looks like the buckboard went on straight ahead. You going back to the stove. We're going to make it look like nothing's wrong in case they come in. Well, they must have been traveling together, and they stopped here together. Well, shouldn't we go in here? No. Old Ed's probably in that buckboard, and we can't waste any time. All right, they're going on. Come on, let's eat. Hey, Dale. Maybe we'd better take a look in that cabin. Old Ed might be in there. Right. The quickest way, one of us will ride up to Greenhorn's barn and get Ed Bailey. Should be safe enough to hide him here now. Not yet. We won't make any move until we're dead sure Rogers won't be back. Like we got more company. Wallace, what the devil is he doing coming here? Hey, look, Dale. 
John Wallace. Yeah. Evidently, he wasn't hurt as bad as we thought. You know better than to come here. Roy Rogers is on our trail. He may have seen you. If he has, we're in trouble. I know he's on your trail. I came here to warn you. Suppose he breaks in and finds the old man. The old man's not here. We sent him up to Greenhorn's bar. You better get back up to the ranch and wait till Rogers calls on you. Suppose he doesn't. He will. He knows the old man will die if he doesn't get his medicine every six hours. Now listen, when Rogers does get there, you persuade him to talk to the banker and letting you have 5,000 of the old man's money for the ransom. Look, this deal better go through, otherwise I go to jail for embezzlement instead of inheriting the old man's money. Roy, let's rush that cabin. Every minute counts now. We'll have to take it easy, Dale. The old man can't stand the excitement. Let's move up. Come over here. Sit down. Stop your worrying, will you? But I gotta get that money. Then Bailey can die and everything will be all right. You'll get the money all right. And by the time you do, the old man will be dead. We'll put his body on the trail beside his ranch. And that way it'll look like a natural death. You were here, Dale. before we leave here. How? You go around back and stir up a racket. So be sure and stay out of sight. ahead of us. Fetcher, he's not here. Somebody ain't even here. Find Roy's trail bullet? Go get him, boy.
off your horse. Dale, keep an eye on the trail in case they're following us. Right. Inside. What are you going to do it? I'm going to get some information out of it. What have you done with Ed Bailey? I don't recall ever knowing anybody by the name of Ed Bailey. Listen, stranger. There's a man's life at stake, and you're going to talk. Looks like we lost him. He must have turned off. We better double back. We got to stop Rogers. Look, for the last time, you're going to talk or else. All right, I'll talk. He's up at Greenhorn's barn. Well, that's more like it. And it better be true. Hey, Dale, bring my rope. Right. Did you find out anything? Yeah. He said that Mr. Bailey's up at Greenhorn's barn. Greenhorn's barn? How can you do a thing like that to an old man that's sick? It takes all kinds of people to make a world, Dale. How can you be so completely without feeling? He won't get away with it, Dale. We'll come back and take care of him after we found Ed. Let's hurry, Dale. sure the old man's almost dead. They gave me the slip. I lost him up in the rock. We better get him out of here. Yeah, we'll take him in that wagon outside. You boys bring him on up. What's the matter? Rogers, that Evans girl. We're going to have a job blasting him out of those rocks. Here, Dale. Take the 
take this. I've got a gun. I know, but this way you won't have to reload. I want you to keep him busy from here while I slip around back and get inside. Okay. But you stay down and don't take any chances. All right, you be careful too.
we meet again. Happy trails.